Prometheus is a beautiful film to watch, but Michael Fassbender was the best thing about it. I believed he was David. The original Alien, then Aliens, and Alien 3 are very special horror films to me. So when I heard about another Alien film is going to be released, my heart sank. That's enough now. Can't they create something different? Alien Covenant's end credits have just finished. The thousands of people involved in this film is breathtaking. So many companies, so much talent and bleeding edge technology creating a very polished looking film. But forget the incredible effort and cost putting this film together for a few minutes. You see, all that matters is the end result. Before Alien Covenant started today, I actually thought Ridley Scott's got to be too old for this job. The geezer was born in 1937. Then I reminded myself of Clint Eastwood's awesome work, and he came along in 1930, and he's still working. So now I get it. Old age means experienced and not at all frail. The pressure on making another Alien film must be exciting and absolutely insane at the same time. If this is just another Alien film effort and it's not horror perfection, I ain't interested. I'll never forget how the first three original Alien films made me feel. I tried hard to keep an open mind today when Alien Covenant started, but I was so certain that I was going to be really disappointed. There's no doubt about how stunningly beautiful this film is. The opening scene is something the late Stanley Kubrick would have loved. And when the Alien Covenant title sequence kicked in with that familiar music, my spine was frozen. What I experienced on the big screen today was not what I expected. The plot did not follow the same alien prints that I've seen before. This film proved to me that a tired old idea from way back in 1979 can still be made horror fresh, relevant and downright terrifying 38 years later. And it's directed by the same person. When the horror kicks in, it's a big improvement from what I've seen in all the previous Alien films and that's because of the technology available now and fresh ideas. But the only negative with Alien Covenant is the tension and horror comes quick and then it's gone. That long lasting alien fret and tension that I got from the Alien Isolation game and the original Alien film is absent. Alien Covenant just needed to slow down a gear at times and focus more on the alien fret that you can't see. I love the fact this film uses the spaceship name as a title like with Prometheus, but Alien Covenant is actually so much better than Prometheus on every level. Alien Covenant is now my fourth favourite alien film. I can't wait to watch this film again. This is how it's done properly. They've knocked it out of the park. It's wonderful, beautiful, terrifying, exciting and totally unpredictable. The film's story really surprised me. I never saw this one coming. Congratulations to every single person involved. That alien excitement returned today. An excitement I haven't felt in years. And you know what? I really missed it. I'm Bleeding Critic. Here's an opportunity for new and existing horror talent. It's not about a competition. There's no fees. There's no self-congratulating judges. Submit your short horror film to me and I'll film a special introduction. Then your film will join all the other short horror films on my interactive site. Your work will get the attention it deserves.